Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Medico Help Line. Suppose a 15 year old girl came up with a complaint of unusual pressure or cramping pain in the abdomen before or during a menstrual period and an abnormally high amount of bleeding during a menstrual period. The ultrasonography was suggested and the USG report says the presence of two uterus in the pelvis. Can you imagine it? Yes. Today we are going to discuss about uterine anomalies. We will be dealing with the types, clinical features, diagnosis and treatment. So let's get started. Let us have a quick look at the development of the uterus. During the embryonic stage, the uterus develops from the nephrogenic duct, that is, the lateral part of the nephrogenic duct gives rise to two paramesonephric ducts or the Mullerian ducts. The Mullerian ducts fuses together at the center to form the utero-vaginal canal. Also, the unfused parts of the paramesonephric duct or the Mullerian ducts forms the fallopian tubes. Hence, the Muller index fuses to form the cavity, the cervix, and the upper two thirds of the vagina. According to the American Fertility Society (AFS), the uterine anomalies can be classified into seven classes. The first one is the Mullerian agenesis or hyperplasia, which, as the name suggests, there is complete lack of development of the Muller index. We'll see each one in detail. First coming to the arcuate uterus. The arcuate uterus forms about 18% of all the uterine anomalies. Here, during the fusion of the Mullerian ducts, there is a slight indentation into the uterine body. In the normal uterus, the cavity outline is smooth and the fundus is dome shaped. Whereas, here, there is slight indentation at the top. The fundus is concave with heart shaped cavity outline. Next one is septate uterus, which forms about 35% of all the uterine anomalies. Here, there is incomplete fusion of the Mullerian ducts during the embryonic stage, which results in the formation of septum in the uterine cavity. It can be partially incomplete fusion or completely incomplete fusion. Abortions or premature expulsion of fetus are very common in this case. Uterine bicornis or bicornate unicollis. Here we get a heart shaped uterus as you can see in the figure. The Muller index fails to fuse at the fundus part and with varying degrees of fusion of the uterine muscles they fuse at the cervix part, giving rise to two separate uterine bodies and a cleft in between which is greater than 1 cm in length. They are of two types uterus bicornis bicollis and uterus bicornis unicollis. In uterus bicornis bicollis, there are two separate uterine bodies with double cervix with or without the vaginal septum. Whereas in uterus bicornis unicollis, there are two separate uterine bodies with a single cervix. The next one is uterine didelphus, which forms about 8% of all the uterine anomalies. Here, the Muller index completely fails to fuse during the embryonic stage resulting in the formation of two separate uterine bodies, two cervix and two vaginas, that is formation of two uterus in a body. Uterine unicornis, as the name suggests, a single Mullerian duct develops during the embryonic stage instead of two and forms a uterine body cervix and vagina thus giving rise to a banana shaped uterus. Very often uterine anomalies presents with infertility, dyspareunia, dysmenorrhea, menstrual disorders like menorrhagia and cryptomenorrhea. On obstetrical level, mid trimester miscarriages, rudimentary horn pregnancy, cervical incompetence, malpresentations, preterm labor, intrauterine growth retardation, intrauterine death, prolonged labor, obstructed labor, retained placenta and postpartum hemorrhages are very common. Ultrasonography and magnetic resonance imaging are the non-invasive procedures whereas laparoscopy, 
histography and hysteroscopy are the invasive ones for the diagnosis of uterine anomalies. Unification operation in case of septic and bicornate uterus has best obstetric outcome. Septum is either excised or incised. The rudimentary horn should be excised to reduce the risk of ectopic pregnancy. Do you know that the uterine diadelphus has the best possibility of successful pregnancy? A woman in Kazakhstan diagnosed with uterine diadelphus gives birth to twin babies on August 29, 2019. The babies were grown in two separate uteruses and was delivered three months apart. Hi, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and share with your friends. See you very soon with a new interesting video. Till then, bye-bye.